Alright, hello again guys and welcome back to my channel, Kojiro from Gaming in Japan here and in today's video guys I'm going to show you my encounter with my first cheater in Tekken 8. But the point of the video is not to make fun of the guy because I was able to, able to beat him despite of him using cheats, it's kind of like my whole interaction which uh, led me to have a little bit of a kind of like a sympathy and respect for the way that he was cosplaying the character that he was cosplaying so here as you can see i just made for fun uh, claire redfield from resident evil and the guy had made wesker but he was like cosplaying wesker with his lobby interactions with his uh, like uh, chat lines and stuff like that and as I have found out uh, here, he also uses this annoying cheat, which actually is not originally from Tekken. This is from Soul Calibur. I have seen this couple of times since Soul Calibur 6, when the game was still active. Unfortunately, it's no longer is active, so people don't really use things like this in Soul Calibur 6. But here, it seems to have started to gain some traction. And uh, yeah, when you have King with this metal casket on, you can barely see what he does. And here I even, like, because I didn't pay much attention to what was going on, I played without a sound because I was just listening to a, a Japanese podcast at, at the time. So I, like, had my headphones uh, for the sound of the computer, so I didn't even... Uh, had the ability to listen to the sounds because I probably could have like blocked and guessed some of the attacks but when he starts to do something like multi thrust for example or like the continuous low attacks you can barely see what's going on but obviously this guy cannot play I have played him before he he cannot play the game to save his life uh, so he uses cheats, but I think the main reason that he uses cheats and I didn't report him and stuff like that was because he really played it off in a way that uh, I think fitted his uh, character that he was playing very well. The only thing that I think was not uh, like in sync, so to speak, was the fact that he plays King. I think if you make Victor to look like Wesker, Wesker is kind of like can be made 90% to uh, to look like that in the Kenet if you use Victor as a base. So here is our second game, of, like I, I try to keep distance, use back one a little bit more and uh, the only way really to win is to keep your distance and that's because when people cannot actually play the game to keep distance and to use in the case of Fenway the climbing dragon to just launch him in the air because you can't really see what's going on and here I ate the, the sweeps I didn't understand what was happening but I activated heat and I was able to win the round uh, if somebody can actually play the game uh, semi-competently he can win most of the times and there is nothing you can do but again at some point these people are even are either going to be blocked by everybody or going to be banned i don't know what is going to happen exactly uh, but i didn't report this guy because he did something that really impressed me. I'm gonna show that a little bit later. I don't know if you was if you were able to catch this in our chat interaction, but uh, the guy really like put a lot of effort in cosplaying Wesker in the lobbies. And group matches are just for fun and for training, guys. It's nothing serious going on in the group matches. It's not ranked. It's not uh, like. Don't get me wrong, like the whole thing, the, the fact that I'm playing this guy is, is an absolute waste of time for me. Like, I learned nothing from from him. He can't play to save his life, as I said. He's really bad at the game and he uses cheats, but like the way he was dedicated to cosplay a villain 
in the lobby with his avatar and in the way he was chatting with me and with some other people but it was really cool to see and honestly there are a lot of like resident evil uh, cosplayers in the in the european lobby at least there are also a lot of a lot of crafts in there and uh, <laughs> I even saw freaking Shaggy from Scooby the one time, that was hilarious. But the group match, yeah, group, my point is that group match is mainly for people to have fun in there, to talk, to like discuss things. Yes, there are people who are good at the game and use the lobby to train, but uh, cosplaying characters like this is really fun and yeah, I was able to beat him because he, he cannot really play the game very well, he can't defend against launchers and stuff like that, so uh, I was able to win one game, although I lost my 10 games winning streak, I don't really care about that, because like I said, this lobby is for training only, and uh, I decided to not report him, and the main reason was not only his chat interactions and stuff like that, but he asked me, guys, he asked me for us to have a 1v1 in the freaking African lobby. So basically he was trying to recreate the battle between the red Redfield, like Chris Redfield, of course I'm not Chris Redfield in this case, but close enough, uh, between Redfields and uh, Wesker in Resident Evil 5. And I think this was a very nice touch, like I was, I was highly impressed by the, the by the fact that he wanted us to fight in Africa to be kind of like more in sync with our characters. That was, and for that reason, I decided to not report him, guys. I think this was fun. I, I had fun with the the way he was dedicated to like um, fully being character. However, I have a question for you here and. I'm gonna give my answer after I lay out my point, but w for how long do you think people like that are going to be playing Tekken if their only goal is to just have fun in the lobby? It's like at some point it's gonna run out, right? Um, this guy cannot play the game. He doesn't care or even like he's not in the slightest have any interest in trying to be good at the game he just ha have fun with things that have barely anything to do with fighting games overall but at some point he's gonna drop the game so my question is for people like that who are just looking to have fun in weird ways with a game like the Kenate, for how long they're gonna uh be present in the lobbies and for how long they're going to play the game my my guess is that it's going to be around something like two or three months no longer uh, tell me what you think down in the comment section below um i think at some point like people are gonna either mass report these folks or they're gonna just stop interacting with them and the the fun is gonna run out but I, I don't know if a person wants to do stuff like that. I don't I don't understand why he decides to play specifically the can to begin with. This is very interesting and this all of the the recent and uh relatively recent rise of the can uh, coming from the can seven. This is all because of the PC release of the, the can seven game guys. Like the PC release brought a lot of people to the game and uh, with Ken 8 it was a common thing for um again to be on pc and uh, you have people like that yes there are also a lot of cheaters and don't get me wrong they should be reported and um some level of actions should be taken but this guy specifically i i didn't hold any grudge against him for him using cheats and I had, like I said, I had fun with this interaction. Um, I wasn't trying to be in character with 
Claire or something. I just I just made her for fun. But that guy was in it uh, for the whole, how you say in uh, the US, for the whole nine yards, right? So yeah, tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the cheaters, but also about the creative cheaters who also use some kind of uh, like lobby interactions and overall have character that can be interesting. Tell me what you think about that and I will see you guys in the next video please like uh, the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you soon bye